This video is directed specifically to Mercedes W124 owners, particularly the later models, 91 to 95, because I'm seeing increasing electrical gremlins in these cars related to one particular fuse, just one fuse. It uh, doesn't mean it's the only fuse, but these cars have a lot of wiring in them, particularly the 93 to 95 models, and the wiring goes all over the place. And if you have shorts or opens or, you know, <laughs> drains, it can be really tough to troubleshoot them. So I just want to share with you one little tip right here. This is the fuse circuit that I believe probably causes more problems than any other one on the W124 chassis, and that's fuse C. Fuse C tends to blow, this tends to short, <laughs> there are drains that happen through this fuse that can make your battery go dead. What does fuse C control? It controls rear roof light, trunk light, rear door locking system, safety belt, handover arm on the coupe, seat belt back arrestor, central locking system, door lights, reading lights, and power antenna. <laughs> How many of you had problems with any of those items on any model Mercedes? I think one of the reasons why this particular circuit causes problems is a number of these things run through the door and the trunk. And when you're opening and closing doors and trunks, you flex wires and wires tend to break and that causes shorts. So there's other reasons. Power antenna is a real common problem. You know, it gets stuck and it continues to drain the battery. So I want to show you one thing about this fuse C, which can be very helpful if you have to troubleshoot electrical gremlins in your W124. Fuse C powers a terminal block in the car called Terminal Block X30, and I want to show you the location of that right now and what it does, because it could prove very helpful to you in the future. The X30 terminal block is pretty well hidden, but it's not all that difficult to get to. You have to remove this plastic kick panel right here. And at first that might seem a little daunting, but there's a couple little tricks to getting this off. First, you have to remove this door sill because right here in this corner is a screw. So if you try to yank this out, you're gonna break the edge of this plastic off. Peel this back right here and you can get the screw off. And then there's a couple of plastic fasteners that connect it right up to the firewall. You can just screw these out once you get those out, it's a matter of pushing the brake pedal in like that and pulling it down. Just be a little gentle. You're going to twist it like this and then pull it right past the brake pedal. And then if you look closely, there's the terminal block with a cover on it. So I'm going to pull this back so you can get a good look at it. The cover easily snaps off. But it's a little bit hard to get to these plugs unless you pull the two screws. There's two sheet metal screws, one here, one down here that hold this to the firewall. I've already loosened these up. So we'll pull this back and you can get a better idea what this terminal block does. Okay, there it is. You see there's four plugs that come into it. Look at that red and white wire right there. That's a main wire coming from fuse C. So any of these circuits can cause problems. And one of the things you can do with this terminal block is start unplugging these one at a time until the short goes away or the drain goes away because this will allow you to isolate the area in the car. These feed multiple things like dome lights, radio, power antenna, seat belt retractors on the coupes. And so you kind of have to look at the fuse box to see which components are powered by fuse C. There's the power lead there. And then you can unplug these. They unplug real easily. You can unplug one at a time and go through a troubleshooting sequence. You may need a wiring diagram to do this, but this is a really handy way to isolate problems in what I consider one of the more common circuit problems in the W124 chassis. If you own one of these cars or plan to purchase one, this information can prove very helpful in the future.